What's up, everybody? DJ Sixsmith here. You're watching the sit down. Jessica Roth with us. Valley Girl coming out May 8th. What's going on? How are you? Woo um, I'm good. I'm good. You know, keeping safe, keeping sane in quarantine. That's all that I can hope for. But baking a lot of bread. I'm oh, yeah? What kind of bread are you making? Sourdough. But also, the other day, I made a babka, which is like mm -hmm. a... It's kind of like a hala brioche cinnamon roll chocolate croissant thing. It was amazing. I have, we had to give half of it away because otherwise the quarantine 15 would be very real in our house. So, I mean, coming up in a few weeks, people can make some bread, watch a movie, have a good time with it. So what was it like putting this thing together? Oh, it was amazing. I mean, the film is just such a neon 80s technicolor delight like and and making it was that way too i remember when i read the script it was almost five years ago maybe even more um my audition process for this was long i auditioned for it the first time around when there was a different director got down to the wire it disappeared i thought nothing was going to happen with it and then it resurfaced again um and i just i connected so much with julie's story and kind of getting to explore again what it's like to fall in love for the first time and i love the 80s and power ballad so it was kind of the perfect cocktail of everything that i love i mean who doesn't want to want to be in a movie about falling in love right no doubt what is your favorite 80s thing like the the dressing the the music like the mall scene like what what sticks out to you the most that's so hard i mean i love i do love the music um even before the film i was a huge fan of Pat Benatar and Hart and Cindy Lauper and the Ahas and kind of power ballads are my jam because I feel like they're so unapologetically emotional and just they they're they're pure and I love that there's no sense of irony or kind of snark to the music. It's just like I love you and this is true, mm. um, which makes it perfect for telling a a teenage love story. Um, but I do have to say the costumes were also amazing. Like the costumes were to die for and our incredible costume designer, Maya Lieberman, got to go into the vaults in some of the studios. So some of the things I was wearing were vintage 80s pieces, wow. which also meant they were made of polyester and not <laughs> super breathable. And we were shooting in the valley in the summer. Um, so that was a little rough, but you know, the sacrifices we make for art. You're able to pull it off and it ends up helping you guys out. So when you think about a lot of the big issues in this movie, like class plays a big part in it because you have the Valley, you have Hollywood. What was most interesting in terms of, you know, peeling that onion and kind of going a little bit deeper into some of those topics? Well, I think that's the really fun thing about this movie. You know, it, on one level, it's kind of a cotton candy musical delight, but then we really talk about some real things. Like you said, the class issue of, of, it doesn't matter where you come from, that, that that's not what defines you necessarily, or peer pressure, or people not liking the person that you're falling in love with, or getting into fights with your parents, where you're gonna go to college, kind of all of those things showing that they're universal, and that the issues that were there in the 80s are still prevalent today. And I, I love getting to make movies that have a message and that say something. Um, and I think that this movie in particular has such an incredible message for young women or really anyone who is kind of coming of age and exploring and taking chances and trying something new. Because to me, this story is not only about a girl who falls in love, but it's about a girl who, through falling in love, gets to explore and experience more of herself than she would have otherwise. You know, Randy doesn't change her. It's that her experience with him kind of unlocks her ability to explore the world around her. And I think that that's really cool. I think Julie is ahead of her time in a lot of different ways because she's thinking about different types of situations for college, different types of people to hang out with. And even like, you know, in the eighties, people weren't talking about divorce and they're talking about women are talking about getting married in their early twenties. Like culture has really shifted a long way. And I feel like that character was a little bit ahead of the curve in terms of what was to come for a lot of different women these days. Oh, completely. And it was really fun and empowering to be that voice. Mm -hmm. um, but also to try to find the way that it didn't feel preachy or didn't feel kind of alien to the time, that it's an inquisitiveness and, and a curiosity and an earnest exploration of all of those things. And I think that's why when she meets Randy, 
she's enough ahead of her time that she's willing to take the leap and the chance. Whereas some of her other friends would be like, ew, he's gross and skeezy and I'm not into it. But she's like, I don't know, there's something different about him and he makes me feel different. And I like, I, I like getting to explore other parts of the world and eating different food and trying different things. And also this idea of exploring the mother-daughter relationship because it's like, you know, your character in Judy Greer and then later on with the other iteration of it, what was it like exploring that dynamic throughout the movie? Oh, I loved it. I have a really close relationship with my mom. And so anytime I get to explore mother-daughter um, kind of archetypes or storylines, I, I get so much joy out of it because I think it's such an important and pivotal part of my life and of so many people's. And also showing that you can be mad at your parents and you still love them. Like I think that that is a great message for everyone to know. But I also love that this film is told from the point of view of Julie remembering and sharing this experience with her daughter and talking about the things that she's learned because then you get the amazing kind of the Julie's view in current time of when things are devastating or the end of the world or she's not sure how she's gonna get through it. But then you get to see her in the future and see she had this great love and she had this amazing experience. And even though it's not who she ended up staying with, it's the person that made her who she is. Mm. And I, I, I can relate so much to that story. And I think a lot of people can. And it's also important for teenagers to know that the person you're dating now, it's okay if they're not the person that you marry. It's important yes. to date many people and experience life and, and, Try, try stuff. Hmm. I, I always think it's interesting for somebody that's a little bit older to play like a teenager or somebody younger. Like what were some of the things that you thought about or even like, did you think back to your time as a teenager and what life looked like back then? Oh, 100%. And I also have to say that our set deck and our art department and cost, like everyone did such an incredible job transporting us back to the 80s that I also felt transported back to high school. And so many of the dynamics and the way that the script is so clever and funny and all of the actors I got to perform with are so talented that you find yourself having visceral reactions and emotional reactions to things in real time. It's like, oh my God, I haven't felt this since middle school. I feel so left out right now. Or like, I feel so in love or um, I'm so pissed at my mom. And so it's fun as an actor to get to go in and kind of dabble in all of those different emotions again. Yeah, I mean, between this movie and La La Land, you got the singing on camera thing down at this point, right? I know, it's kind of a dream come true for me, honestly. I, I grew up on movie musicals. Um, I love them so much. I would watch on repeat Sound of Music, Singing in the Rain, South Pacific. And the opportunity not only to get to be in one, but two feels. I, I feel like someone's punking me a little bit. I feel like <laughs> I've, I've somehow um, rigged the system, but I feel very, very lucky. Also because the amazing thing about musicals is people sing in musicals when words just aren't enough. Mm -hmm. And so getting to tell a love story with music is just such a release and such an incredible way to express all of those emotions. And I think that we were really lucky that Melt With You was kind of our main theme love song because that song just holds so much emotion in it. Have you thought about the fact that people will be watching this like in their living rooms, you know, on their phones, on their computers, not going to the theater for it? Like, what do you think about that idea? And you know, what are some big things to think about when people do check it out? I have, I mean, I, of course it's really fun for, any movie to come out in theaters. And that is a little sad, but in some ways I think it's the perfect time for it to come out. You know, we're all stuck at home. Everyone's doing incredible and, and doing what they can day to day, but we all definitely need a little boost. I know that I do. And I think that this movie is just so fun. It's just fun and it's sweet and it's lovely and you feel good at the end of it. And I know that when I'm looking, the content that I'm watching right now at home by myself is either things that I've watched before that feel kind of like security blankets, or I, I just can't, I can't stomach anything that's too depressing right now. It feels a little too close to home. So I, I really do think that this is a movie, not only that has some really wonderful messages and some really fun song and number dances, but that will just make people feel good 
and it's a wonderful mother daughter movie and it's coming out on mother's day. So that's kind of a fun twist. Um, yeah. All right. Good deal. Well, Jessica, thanks for hanging out. Stay safe. Best of luck. And we'll talk to you down the road. All right. Thank you so much. Bye.